because Rhea can do it. Right. Oh, okay. so it's recording. Right. So welcome to episode six of our Desert Island Diffs. Uh, we're joined today by Mel. Um, Mel will obviously give her an introduction of herself. We will then go through uh, the quick fire round, the songs, the books, the item, uh, the members of MOVE that she would take with her, uh, the hobbies and what she's missed. So if any of you who have joined into our previous four or five episodes, you kind of know the gist of it. Um, and uh, I think you'll all tune in to see who Mel takes with her. So thank you for joining us today, Mel. Um, can you give uh, an introduction of um, what your role is and what you do at MOVE? Hello, so I'm Mel. I'm the Senior Sport Development Officer at MOVE. And basically in that role, I look after all the sports clubs. Um, I help them with their development plans through the year, general support for them. Also do uh, stuff with varsity and sports awards. Um, so yeah, it's all like club development um, and all the sports stuff. Perfect. <laughs> so if any students got any, or any clubs got any issues? Mel, Mel's a person you need to email. <laughs> Perfect. So what are we going to do? We're going to jump right in um, and we're going to do a quick fire round. So there's 15 questions um, okay. and it's kind of this or that. OK, so first one, tea or coffee? Coffee. Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Uh, cat or dog? Dog. <laughs> Call or text? Text. Cardio or weights? Weights. Early morning or late nights? Oh, late night, I think, yeah. Late night. Uh, bath or shower? Bath. Uh, sweets or chocolate? Chocolate. Uh, passenger or driver? Driver. TV or book? TV. TV. Horror or comedy? Comedy. Winter or summer? Winter. Beer or wine? Wine. Hair up or hair down? Hair down. And the last one, working alone or working in a team? Working in a team. Perfect. So um, got, you've got to know Mel a little bit more there. Um, oh, so yeah. It's, uh, it's just just a quick intro so so kind of people know what what you like and what you don't like so if they want to buy you any presents they know what to buy you simple as oh that's good for that's secret santa and in... yes there we go <laughs> anyone who gets mail for secret santa this year just yeah. watch this then you'll know yeah so what we're going to do we're going to go on to um your three chosen songs so what i'll do i will play um, a segment of the song for about 10 15 seconds um, and then i'll ask you kind of why it, what it means to you um who the artist is and what the song is okay so we'll go for your first one okay <laughs> So what is your first song, Mel? So that first song is Mountain Sound by Monsters and Men. Um, okay. So they're, not many people probably heard of them. They're like a little Icelandic band. Um, mm -hmm. I first heard of them when I was doing my undergraduate degree in Cardiff. Um, it was, okay. Yeah, so it reminds me of uni. So when I was first year, um, yeah. pressure in my halls and me and my flatmate, um, we used to always listen to them. Um, not, it wasn't yeah. like a going out song because probably most people think that they like uni songs like some like club song. But no, it's yeah. like a little chill <laughs> song, you know, when we were just a bit like hungover and we just listened to it. It's, yeah. Yeah, it's quite fun. And actually now I listen to it when I'm studying because I find with a lot of songs now, you know, when you're trying to concentrate and then they really annoy you. But I've once in a minute, yeah. like, um, yeah, it's quite like gentle and quite up, like, like uplifting. It's actually quite good to study to. So that's my little kind of uni study song. So that's what it means. Oh, oh. Perfect. Um, so we'll go on to your second song, okay? <laughs> So what is your second song? So that is On Top of the World by Imagine Dragons. Um, again, this is just like 
a super happy, super happy song. And it's, um, I think a lot of music is stuff that you think um, is special to you. But this yeah. band is what me and Matt, um, my partner, we really started to like, um, we found this band when we were first kind of going out. So it's kind yeah. of a shared, mutual shared like like Aww. band. We've gone and seen them before. Um, but a lot of their stuff is quite like heavy, like um, or a bit yeah. deep. This is one of their funner, a bit more chilled out um um songs is a bit, a bit happier um yeah. So, yeah so that's mine and matt's kind of song or like oh, um, this is it. yeah and your last one i think this is my favorite and i think everyone will will kind of agree so we'll, we'll give this a play <laughs> song for those who don't know that no it's like spice up your life girl power and spice girls this is well this is literally like 90 babies isn't it come on song song everyone loves um it's like the good all the time um so yeah so this is literally just reminds me of like childhood so I tried to go with songs it was like different life stages yeah. so this is like when I was like younger I just danced around and also I just really like this song because it's a, it's for everyone because it's like boys mm-hmm. girls people of the world so yeah. Like, so yeah I just love that one when um I actually went to see the Spice Girls last year and when this song come on it yeah. was incredible I was like oh my god I feel about 10 years old again and I went with my sister who's five years older than me and she was like god takes you straight back to your childhood and I think yeah. ev- everyone knows it like regardless of what age you are you know it it's just yeah. one of those songs yeah and it's just like they're so and also they're just so influential all those women yeah I just love them yeah, yeah. So. they're one of, one of the best best girl bands that have yeah. ever been about. For sure. For sure. I just think so. So what we will do, we'll go on to your um your two books. Okay. So okay. if you want to say um the author and the title of the book and why it kind of means something to you. Okay. I found this quite hard because okay. recently I haven't because I've been doing my masters, I haven't read that yeah. many books because I've okay. just been reading like boring journal articles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had time so but one book I read recently was um by Florence Given I don't know if you've heard of her um okay. uh, called Women Don't Know You Pretty um yes, and I've seen a lot of people have been reading this yeah it, um it's like a feminism book and I know when people say that they suddenly go oh like women women men hate us it's not like that at all it's yeah it's so like um eye-opening the stuff she has to say um and obviously it's her opinion on it and her opinion on different subjects so it's all in different chapters going over different kind of things and it's one of those that just kind of opens your eyes up and makes you think a bit um yeah. makes you think about the world like the, what we live in um the pressures on women um so yeah, yeah. it just makes you think and questions your own internal beliefs as well and stuff that happens in the world and I think it's really important and and I I don't think it's one it's not one just for women to read I think men should read it as well but um I'm definitely um definitely advocate for that book I've already given it to my sister to read so if you want to it's it's very and obviously you've got to take it with a pinch of salt because it's it's one person's view on a certain thing it's good to challenge that as well so that doesn't mean to say that that's what it is it's just her mm-hmm. reputation so yeah okay. I'm very interesting perfect and what is your second book um, this is just like a my uh jk realm it's a <laughs> couple of, <laughs> couple of couple of fun. Fun. okay <laughs> i kind of went to uh so one was a bit more sensible and this is just like fantasy isn't it yeah again childhood but also you can just reread them because they're so well written yeah um, and i think it's just so good because it keeps the creative side as well that yeah. fancy creative side and a lot of books you know are kind of more real life like, yeah and it's like a real life drama so this is like escapism and I like I love that as well and you just have all the different characters and there's not yeah. you know, and it's all friendship courage bravery which I think is really good so yeah they're my books did you um did you read the book before you watched the film no I watched the film oh, okay because I think 
with with some books when you read them your your imagination goes wild and then if you've watched something and then read the book you're always comparing it so yeah. I wanted to see what kind of what order you'd you'd watched or read yeah. it in. no because yeah I, I watched because whenever the films came out we used to go watch them so yeah um it's just how we did it so then I only like more recently I read the books yeah and actually a lot that's not in the films that's in the oh, book okay lot of details yeah um but I do yeah you do kind of start playing the film in your head so you just yeah. to give you that opportunity to make the characters look yeah like you want to think they look yeah. like um but yeah they're still a really good book so thanks thank you very much for that um so if you were you're stuck on your desert island um and you have one item what, yeah. what item would this be and why would you take it on there with you so I was thinking about this. I, th I was, at first I thought, oh, I've got to be really sensible. But then I thought, my. So, <laughs> so I, I would take a hammock. So it'll be a okay. hammock or like a sofa. Then I was yeah. thinking maybe more a hammock or a sofa. Purely because when you're, so when I was in my first year at uni, we didn't have a sofa in our halls. Okay. One thing I just always really, like just somewhere to just, really comfy to sit and I just think if you're on a desert island you just want a bit of comfort yeah being yeah. There, just having a bit of just you know I'm not like sitting on the floor it's sometimes just like does your back in so I think yeah. nice comfortable seat yeah there's um it's weird because the who I've previously done this with they've kind of gone for um what what kind of items have, they've kind of gone for practical items yeah. whereas you just gone comfort and I love that comfort over comfort over practicality brilliant I mean you're gonna, have, you're gonna be on the island so you may as well make it as comfortable as possible yeah, yeah the island might not be sand it might be rocks so you never know no do you, yeah. you just want to sometimes you just want to lay down yeah, yeah. So if you took your sofa on this island, yeah. um, what three members of MOVE or of college um, would you take with you and why would you take these three individuals? Okay, so this was also quite hard. So yeah. I thought I'd take you, Leisha, and Helen, okay. for sure. Because <laughs> I thought we could have just fun chats. Yeah. <laughs> just just really catch ups on everything. Yeah, and I also thought, well... Like Lisa, you're really good at running, so she might want to run around and like find stuff on the island. Bit <laughs> <laughs> down for you. <laughs> like she might really enjoy that. And then Helen, me and Helen, we could just like you know pass things to each other, and she's just quite yeah. fun. Well, for training, yeah, for netball. Yeah. So we. And then I thought, right, not to be like sexist or anything, but we probably need a man. So I thought yeah. Ben, because he looks quite yeah. strong, so he could like carry stuff if we needed. Yeah. Also, he's been travelling recently, so I feel like we could use some of that experience to help us. Yes. It's, it's really weird you say that. I won't say who did it, but someone said they would take Ben for that exact reason, <laughs> that he'd been travelling and that he would know, you know, if someone rocked off on the island, he might know another language or he might be able to do something that he's learned in another country. So someone actually did say that exact thing about Ben. So, yeah. Good. Yeah, it's good to have that. Perfect. Good. Thank you. So, right. at least I'll get a nice, comfy sofa. It's fine. <laughs> Where we can all share it, and, you know. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So, obviously, some of us have been off for a long period of time. Some of us haven't. Some have been part time furloughed. And um, so, since we've kind of finished, well, I think it was like seventeenth, eighteenth of March, we finished um, at work. And um, since kind of that time, have you been able to do any more hobbies outside of work? Um, or have you had the chance to do anything more of what you previously wanted to do but couldn't because of work or um so I well I think I did the classic I just did a lot of baking to start with yeah you know like the whole so stereotypical the banana bread so I got yeah. a banana bread hype but actually, yeah. <laughs> but aside from that I actually got into pilates quite a lot really yeah. enjoying the pilates because obviously there's no there's no gym so yeah, I quite like weight training, but actually didn't realise how much Pilates. It's like all body control and like lots of band work and um, yeah, yeah, like learning to know your body a bit more because because I kind of my foot's still a bit injured. So yeah, I can't go on runs and stuff, so I'm just trying to find something different. Um, yeah, yeah. So I found a really good well, one of my friends from Cardiff. She's now a Pilates instructor, so she's been doing online stuff. So that is something oh. I've really enjoyed learning. 
Um, yeah. Yeah, and you can just basically do it anywhere as well. So that yeah. is a new hobby um, in lockdown. Cool. Okay, so is there anything that you've um, that you've missed during lockdown? Um, any surprises that you'll take away from and go, well, actually, we can do this at home or I don't need to do that anymore? Yeah. I, think, I think I've missed just the freedom of being able to see people. Yeah. And not, and you don't realise, like, I think you appreciate them a lot more when you do get mm-hmm. to see them. So I think that appreciation, I think, has helped in lockdown. And yeah, I've definitely missed, like, you know, like family and friends. Mm-hmm. And when I have seen them, you just think, oh my God, like, what? It's a different yeah. person. So yeah, I really miss that whole sense of freedom. Um, and I think it does make you a lot more grateful for it now, like, just being able yeah. to be around and go to places. And I think, I think we are quite spoiled people in society so I think it does make you think wow like maybe we needed this a little bit um yeah and that's what I've missed people I think I think with that like it's so easy to you know it's cheaper to get a flight to Europe than it is to get a train to Birmingham sometimes or and I think we really take that for granted that we can just hop on a bit of transport and go somewhere and this obviously hasn't enabled us to do that yeah. Uh, it's kind of been like oh we've kind of been forced back again and, and we've been spoiled with choice what we can do and not doing that you kind of think okay right <laughs> uh, <laughs> I have to rethink my options and also like I don't know if it, like you as well but we've been a bit more local as well so we like bought local with um, yeah. like bought stuff from our like, like, like the farm shop that we yeah. wouldn't have done before just because like you couldn't get any deliveries from like yeah so we've done like different things or gone to more local parks and gone to mm. more local areas where before I just don't think people would have done that. So I think no. you can actually appreciate where you live more as well yeah. rather than having to like drive further away or fly on a plane. Yeah. Um, so I think yeah. that is really good for everyone. Um, yeah, mm. like learning that type of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Well, thank you very much, Mel, for uh, doing this Desert Island Disc with me. It's been been a lot of fun and uh, your song choices were very good. I really enjoyed them. Um, so if anyone wants to uh, join in, um, send me an email at l.weg at imperialac.uk um, and we can get you on um, for these Desert Island Discs. So thank you very much, Mel. All right. Thank you. <laughs>